Hi there and welcome to another Color Finale 2 training video. In this video I'll be showing you how to set the white balance of your content in Final Cut Pro 10 using Color Finale 2. So what is white balance? White balance is related to color constancy, a feature of the human color perception system which ensures that the perceived color of objects remains relatively constant under varying illumination conditions. White balance as a post-production process is the correction for the lack of color constancy captured by the camera, the opposite to the human expectation of the observed scene. It is used to correct shots from a camera which is incorrectly white balanced before shooting. Okay, let's get started. Here's a clip of a woman lying down. I'm going to quickly add color finale tools to this clip. Next, I need to adjust the actual controls for white balance. These are color temperature and color tint. There are four methods for using these tools in Color Finale 2, Pick, Auto, Chart, and Manual. Let's look at Pick. In Red Cine X, I use the Color Picker to set the white balance for this shot. So let's do the same in Color Finale 2 to see the results. If I click on Pick and move my cursor to the viewer, I can see pixels that Pick is examining. I can instantly see there is a color bias that needs correction. The red, green, and blue values are not the same when sampling pixels that should be white, gray, or black. To correct for this bias, I'll move the cursor to a known neutral gray point in the image and click once. Immediately, you can see the white balance change in the clip. Using the video scope set to overlay, I can see if the white balance is correct by checking that white pixels in the image are showing as white pixel values in the scope. If I want to view the individual RGB channels separately though, I can change the scopes from overlay to parade. Just as with overlay, I can now tell if any pixel that should be neutral or gray is white balanced, as the peak red, green and blue values for that pixel should match in line with each other due to having the same values. Here's the result of the color picker again, this time with the scopes active so you can see how the RGB channels are balanced by Color Finale 2. Use pick for clips with highly saturated colors. Let's look at Auto. The simplest way to adjust the white balance of clips in Color Finale 2 is by using the Auto tool. For speed, I will set the color management to assume log. I'm happy with the contrast, but I will use exposure to quickly adjust the brightness of the image. The Auto tool works in a similar way to how a digital camera calculates auto white balance. It examines the pixel statistical distribution information for the given frame and calculates white balance compensation needed for the image based on this information. You can see this now when I click on Auto. Don't use auto with predominantly monochromatic images, or images with a dominant color, or images with highly saturated colors. For additional help in understanding whether an image needs white balancing, there is the image analysis tool. Using this in tandem with the video scopes allows you to see only the pixels you're interested in displaying on the scopes. Clicking on the rectangle will exclude any other pixel information outside of the area selected for analysis, which can be distracting when trying to see whether your RGB values are balanced in line on the scopes. With Isolate Statistics active, the average value for each RGB channel is also displayed for additional help. Zoomed in, we can see that white balancing has really separated the colors and made them stand out. This is one of the main benefits of white balancing. It makes the creative side of color grading, which follows next, so much easier thanks to the separation of the colors within the image. Let's look at Chart. Using a gray card or a color chart in frame provides an immediate ideal area to pick from. Select the correct chart from the color chart menu Add points to the image working clockwise. Press Match Chart and Color Finale 2 does the rest. To toggle the results of the chart match, use the Match Enabled button. The results can then be saved as a preset for later use. I'll apply my preset to this next shot rather than have to set up all the points again and you'll see that we get identical results for the white balance. Lastly, let's look at manual. Manual white balancing clips is simply a case of adjusting the temperature and tint sliders. I've set the scopes to overlay instead of parade mode so that I can easily see when the channels are balanced as they'll overlay each other and appear white on the scopes. I'll first use the exposure and contrast controls with some pivot adjustment to normalize the image and to make any chroma bias easier to see. As there's no convenient in-shot color chart, I'll use the tabletop as the closest to clean white or middle gray to white balance too. Always adjust temperature first. The purpose of temperature is to match the red and the blue channels together. Once red and blue overlap, the only colors left visible on the scopes should be green and magenta. The purpose of tint is to offset the red and blue channels to match the green. 
Now that I've matched the channels together and white balanced the image, I'll add some saturation and we can now see the before and after shots created by Color Finale 2. I hope this video was useful. Please click on the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook group and page, and the Color Finale website. Thanks for watching.